Welcome from the heart of the United States. Your return to our channel fills us with joy. In recent days, our hearts have been heavy with the news of losing extraordinary talents. Today's episode is a heartfelt tribute to their memory. Furthermore, we'll take a moment to reflect on the luminous stars we've recently bid farewell to. But before we begin, we humbly ask for your support. If the stories of these remarkable individuals have touched your life in any way, please consider honoring their legacies by giving this video a thumbs up as a symbol of respect and remembrance. Your gesture means the world to us. Thank you for being here. Crystal Chrissy Anderson, a cherished former Kansas City Chiefs cheerleader and devoted yoga instructor, tragically passed away at the age of 40, shortly after giving birth. The Kansas City Chiefs cheer team expressed their profound sadness on Instagram, commemorating Anderson's vibrant life and legacy. Known for her spirited presence both on and off the field, Anderson was a cornerstone of the Chiefs squad from 2006 to 2011, and again, from 2013 to 2016. She even represented the team at the Pro Bowl in 2015 and served as a team captain. Beyond her achievements in cheerleading, Anderson's impact reverberated globally. She visited troops around the world, including in Iraq and Kuwait, bringing joy and a sense of home to those stationed far from the United States. Her passion for dance and cheerleading persisted beyond her active cheer days, as she continued to contribute in an alumni role, touching many lives within the Chief's organization and the broader community. Anderson's passing is deeply felt not only by her former teammates and fans, but by all who were touched by her kindness and exuberant spirit. Her obituary unveiled her multifaceted talents as a software engineer, where she made significant advancements in healthcare technology, even earning a patent for software that assesses the risk of postpartum hemorrhage. Her brilliance and compassionate heart were evident in her achievements. She leaves behind her husband, Clayton Anderson, whom she married in July 2021, her parents Bertha and Burnett Johnson, her brother Corey Johnson, and several other family members. Her life was also marked by the loss of her infant son, James Charles, who preceded her in death. As the Kansas City Chiefs community and all who knew Chrissy Anderson mourn her loss, her legacy of joy, determination, and advocacy continues to inspire. Her life and untimely passing serve as a poignant reminder of the ongoing work needed to combat maternal mortality and achieve equity in health care. Anais Robin a rising star in the French music scene and a sensation on TikTok, tragically lost her life at the tender age of 21 in a car accident. The accident occurred in Bazier near La France on the M941 highway, claiming her life when she lost control of her vehicle and collided with a tree. Anais, who was alone in the car, passed away instantly at the scene. With a significant following on social media, boasting over 5,000 followers on TikTok and 150,000 on Instagram, Anais had carved out a niche for herself in the digital world. Her content mainly featured her singing and performing live, often in collaboration with her twin brother Elliot, showcasing their exceptional musical talents and close bond. The news of her untimely demise was confirmed by her record label, Gabs and Joe, which expressed profound sorrow over the loss of their cherished artist. A spokesperson for the label remembered Anais as a beloved figure, highlighting her warmth, kindness, and remarkable vocal talent. They noted that her radiant smile and voice would forever be etched in the hearts of those who knew her. Elliot Robin shared a heartfelt tribute on Instagram, vowing to find strength for their family and to honor his sister's memory. The local police have initiated an investigation to ascertain the cause of the accident. Anais Robbins' passing is a profound loss to the music and social media communities. However, her legacy will continue to inspire and resonate through her music 
and the joy she brought to her audience. As fans and loved ones mourn her loss, the promise of her brother to carry on her legacy is a touching testament to the impact she had on those around her. Paula Weinstein, an Emmy-winning producer and a luminary in the film and television realm, bid farewell at the age of 78 in New York. Her storied career included the production of cinematic gems like The Perfect Storm, Analyze This, The Fabulous Baker Boys, and Blood Diamond. Yet, beyond her cinematic prowess, Weinstein held the reins as the former chief content officer at Tribeca Enterprises. Here, she meticulously curated the film festival's offerings, amplifying the voices of underrepresented filmmakers. Weinstein's legacy is a testament to her unwavering resolve to narrate gripping tales and champion social justice. Her contributions earned her prestigious accolades, including two primetime Emmys for TV movies like Truman and Recount, underscoring her knack for bringing pivotal historical stories to life. At Tribeca, her influence reverberated through initiatives like the Tribeca Talk Series and the development of Tribeca Studios, nurturing cinematic talent. Tribeca co-founder and CEO Jane Rosenthal reminisces fondly of Weinstein as a guiding light, a confidant, and a beacon of inspiration for countless women in the industry. Weinstein's pivot from Tribeca Enterprises in September 2023 to delve deeper into political causes, underscores her fervent advocacy and unwavering belief in storytelling's transformative power. Weinstein's personal journey was as intricate as her professional endeavors. Following the tragic loss of her husband, Mark Rosenberg, on the set of Flesh and Bone in 1992, she courageously navigated a blend of pride and sorrow in continuing their shared legacy. Her commitment to political activism stemmed from her roots, influenced by her mother, Hannah Weinstein, who provided solace to blacklisted Americans in the 1950s, and her father, a journalist. Survived by her daughter, Hannah Rosenberg, Weinstein's departure evokes a profound sense of loss among those touched by her films, mentorship, and unwavering dedication to effecting change through the magic of cinema and activism. Her numerous accolades, including two Crystal Awards from Women in Film and the esteemed Hall of Fame Award from Variety, serve as enduring testaments to her indelible imprint on the landscape of Hollywood and beyond. Alicia the Tigress Graf, a revered figure in the world of professional boxing, has passed away at the young age of 43, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the sport. The cause of her unexpected death remains unknown. Born Alicia Klimovich on October 14, 1980, in Gaul, Belarus, Graf relocated to Germany in 1999, where she would carve out a remarkable boxing career. She became a German citizen in 2008, making the country her home and the base of her professional training. Graf's boxing journey commenced in 2001, and she stepped into the professional ring for the first time in 2004. Her illustrious career was punctuated by significant milestones, including her acquisition of the Global Boxing Union, GBU, World Super Flyweight title in 2006, a title she defended an impressive 11 times. Additionally, in 2008, she claimed the Women's International Boxing Federation, WIBF, World Super Flyweight title, successfully defending it four times alongside her GBU title. Among Graf's notable victories was her unanimous decision win against the then undefeated future Hall of Famer Zelina Munoz in 2007. This victory solidified Graf's reputation as a formidable competitor, showcasing her skill and determination in the ring. Her professional record boasted an impressive series of fights, culminating in a title challenge for the WBO World Super Bantamweight title in 2019 against Dana Thorsland. Graf's passing was confirmed by her friend and former training partner, Regina Halmy, 
with whom she shared a promotion under Universum Box promotion in Hamburg, Germany. The boxing community mourns the loss of Alicia Graf, remembering her not only for her achievements within the ring, but also for her indomitable spirit. Her legacy as a dedicated athlete and a pioneer for women in boxing will continue to inspire future generations of boxers. Ron Harper, a versatile actor celebrated for his roles in iconic TV shows like Planet of the Apes and Land of the Lost, has passed away at the age of 91 due to natural causes at his home in West Hills. Harper's illustrious career spanned several decades, leaving an indelible mark on the world of television and film. Before achieving fame on the small screen, Harper honed his craft on Broadway, even understudying for Paul Newman in Tennessee Williams' Sweet Bird of Youth. His transition to television saw him starring in series such as 87th Precinct, Wendy and Me, The Gene Arthur Show, and Garrison's Gorillas, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences across a range of genres. Despite the short-lived nature of some of these series, Harper's performances remained memorable. His portrayals of astronaut Alan Verdon in Planet of the Apes and Uncle Jack in Land of the Lost highlighted his talent for bringing complex characters to life. His dedication to his roles and the impact of his work on generations of viewers are a testament to his skill and passion for storytelling. Off screen, Harper's journey from Turtle Creek, Pennsylvania, to Princeton University and beyond illustrates his commitment to his craft and his willingness to pursue his passion for acting, despite the sacrifices involved. His contributions to the industry have not only entertained, but also inspired many. Harper's legacy lives on through his family, including his daughter Nicole, granddaughters Ronnie and Harper, and his ex-wife Shirley. As the entertainment community and fans mourn his loss, they also celebrate the lasting contributions of Ron Harper to the world of entertainment. As we conclude this journey of honoring the remarkable lives of those we've recently bid farewell to, we want to express our deepest gratitude to you for accompanying us. If their stories have touched you and garnered your admiration, we warmly invite you to demonstrate your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Your encouragement ignites our enthusiasm for creating this program. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you for your unwavering support.